plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Brad Guillory, Chaplain Corps of the United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Eternal Father, some wonder all their lives if they have made a difference. These Marines do not have that problem. We are intensely proud of each of them and their noble accomplishment. We are grateful for all those who have sacrificed to bring them to this day. As they go forth, for God and country, flag and corps, and for one another, send down your blessings upon them, O God, that may, they may come through any ordeal with dignity. Semper Fidelis. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. 
This morning, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander Troops is First Sergeant Joey Cruz, and the Parade Adjutant is Staff Sergeant Kalen M. Mace. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Staff Sergeant Tyler T. Kosa. Also present today is the Primary Marksmanship Instructor with the Platoon High Shooting Average of 213 out of 250 for Platoon 2149, Corporal Ryan Foster. Rough Root Training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively. in rudimentary in the field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them the air legal beings to order and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine, well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. A spree de corps, acquire the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, History proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy. And to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company G, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. 
They have marched on the spots at Camp Pendleton as well as on this parade deck and have been trained as a whole means as basic riflemen. In addition to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit people. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March, all unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the dedicated service to Corps of Country. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryan, the commanding general of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruit Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rumler, commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company G. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Christy Valdez, whose impressive biography you will hear shortly, and who currently serves as a Sergeant Major of the Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 16 aboard Air Station Miramar here in California. Sergeant Major, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for all that you've done for the Marines, for this unit, and welcome back to the Gold Standard. I'd also like to recognize some special guests of the Commanding General, a group of educators from states across the Western Recruit Region who spent the past couple days intimately learning about the process of making Marines opportunities in the Marine Corps for the youth of this country. It's my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for just a few minutes to express both the pride and the gratitude which I feel for this formation behind me, and that begins with you the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your loved ones. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day, and thank you for your continued support in their new vocation. From all of us, welcome to the Marine Corps family. And speaking of families, seated to the right of the reviewing stand are the families of the Company G staff. And no one knows more than you the time and dedication that it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and your support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, you join me in a round of applause for the families of God's company. You know, Mega Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Staff Sergeant Cossack from Recruiting Substation Weatherford, Texas, who is responsible for guiding the company honor graduate by the first class walker into our corps. And for any of you 17 or 28 year olds out here, inspired by what you see, my honor recruiter has assured me he'll be available to speak to you immediately following graduation. Our other partner in the endeavor to make Marines are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climate and place. They're represented today by Corporal Foster, the top performing marksmanship instructor from the rifle range. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction where everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment a recruiter arrives here on the depot, there is a drill instructor with 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of the United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the sweet, gentle, tender, loving voice of their drill instructor. Would you join me in a final round of applause for the Marine to make Marine, the drill instructor. Well done, Marines, I'm proud of you. Now, these Marines behind me are on average 19-year-old high school graduates and two have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western recruiting region and seven countries around the world, having emigrated from places like Bulgaria 
Guatemala, and the Philippines. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, shaping their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. These new Marines prove themselves worthy and capable of carrying heavy loads, long distances over rugged, mountainous terrain to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now, you may notice some change here, new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and support an outstanding Marine Corps hairstyle. And moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their bets. But the truly important change is the one which has taken place within, where they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced them as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 322 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. If you excuse me in just a minute, I'd like to address the newest members of our corps. Good morning, Marines. And Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim in water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights and unconfidence in an obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards, and in the final test, you completed the grueling crucible you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. So having completed the most rigorous recruit training on this globe, you are ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force and readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you to be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember that eagle globe and anchor pressed into the palm of your hand represents 248 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. So on behalf of the Marines, sailors and civilians here aboard the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade review official, Sergeant Major Christy A. Valdez, Sergeant Major Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 16. She is accompanied by Sergeant Major Amina T. Serique, Sergeant Major 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Sergeant Major Valdez is a native of Jacksonville, Florida and enlisted in the Marine Corps with Company N, 4th Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina in December of 2000. She completed MOS training as a ground supply administrator. 
Sergeant Major Valdez has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Pistol Clerk and Pistol Chief at Marine Aircraft Group 39, Customer Service Non-Commissioned Officer in Charge and Pistol Chief at Supply Management Unit, Supply Company, 1st Supply Battalion, CLR 15, Drill Instructor, Senior Drill Instructor, and Chief Drill Instructor at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. Senior Enlist Advisor and First Sergeant and Inspector Instructor Staff, 3rd Civil Affairs Group, Great Lakes, Illinois. Battalion Sergeant Major at 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Sergeant Major for Marine Wing Communications Squadron 38, Marine Air Control Group 38, Marine Corps Air Station, Miramar, California. In January of 2024, Sergeant Major Valdez assumed her current assignment as a Sergeant Major for Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 16, Marine Aircraft Group 16, aboard Miramar, California. Sergeant Major Valdez's personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal, and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Christy A. Valdez. and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
Series 2101. Hey, hey. 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 Hey.
the holy force, uniqueness, and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributed to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits with an observant and relationship with the drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although the BT prepares for the final dismissal of the future, their initial journey is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the school manager, Jack Bunton. California, where they will continue to train to serve as an effective member of the Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that everybody undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine Corps are rifle. responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Taylor Z. Mead. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Joey Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company G. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. Turn to the drill instructors.
graduates will not be presented a black by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith, and the battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Amina T. Serike. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all undergraduates have been recognized. Present Ors! Order Ors! The Army graduate for Platoon 2149 is Private First Class Connor S. Rosendale from Seward, Nebraska. The Army graduate for Platoon 2150 is Private First Class Marquise T. Williams from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The honor graduate for Platoon 2151 and the company honor graduate is Private First Class Emily B. Walker from Ventura, California. Private First Class Walker is also the recipient of the Chesky Fuller Award for her outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for Platoon 2153 is Private First Class Rafael Orendine from Coro de Casa, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 2154 and the series honor graduate is by the first class Zachary T. Whetstone from Princeton, Texas. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2155 is by the first class Jesse I. Howard from Fallbrook, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company G. This will be the most welcome command they have received throughout their new training.
as a friendly reminder, please do not cross the parade path and utilize all fire lines. They get any trash and parts of the lines around and utilize all ways for separate ways. Please start making your way for the parking lots. Be on the wall and the whole beach and go behind the yellow curtain. Go to the green and the green on the green curtain and the green on the yellow curtain. Please keep in mind that by the entry, the boat will have your seat and avoid the same opportunities for those who train by removing any congestion on the wall behind the bleachers. Please do not take any photos or videos of our boots in training. Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please do not cross the parade and utilize the walkway behind the bleachers.